in one of my earlier videos uh, of the creations of Gary Anderson, I showed you a series of uh, mallets that were done in uh, Challenger format and also cab forward. Uh, this is one of his, and I bought it from him a few weeks ago. I haven't had a chance to run it until tonight. Uh, you can see the head of a little guy in there. He's kind of flopping around right now. I've had to modify his, basically take a couple feet out of his legs to get him to fit in there. And I'll get him glued in there one of these days. Gary made these by cutting up and combining two Marks 333s. Three, three, and this forward motor is powered. This one here just has the guts and this is the what allows this thing to navigate a reasonably tight turn is look at the swing out on it. And works pretty good. And that's so we're going to take it for a run. And for the purposes of this, because the Southern Pacific is the ones that ran the cab forwards, we'll use a Mark Southern Pacific tender. The only problem with this, this is actually a coal tender. And uh, cab forward would not have run, run on coal, it would have run on oil. And here in the background, you can see my future tender. It's got a ways to go. It's held together with tape and, and so on. But you'll notice here that I've cut the, uh, the coal load out of the tender and replaced it with hatches and doors where it would be filled with oil. It's not prototypical, but it, I wanted it made for Mark's part, so that's kind of what it's going to look like. And then behind it, we're going to pull, also tonight is the first time I've run these, is a whole series of Joe's trains. There's four, uh, there's four different numbers that he's made, and he's made each of the numbers in a stock car and a box car. And I have all four of each. So we'll take them for a little spin. And you can see he's got a Gary put headlights in it, and the headlight also lights up the cab. And it might look a little bit better when I get the guy in there. very nicely. And you can see the swing out of the boiler when it goes around the curve. A little unorthodox looking, but it does allow it to run on fairly, uh, fairly small radius traffic. 